country music industry provided the cover for distributing the cocaine, so Senator Byrd wanted me to be within the country music industry. Besides that, he fancied himself an entertainer of sorts, and he fiddled on the Grand Ole Opry from time to time. When I was first sent to Nashville, he was playing on the Opry that night, and he had a musician behind him, a guy named Wayne Cox. Wayne Cox later told me that playing music behind Senator Byrd wasn't the only way that he backed him, but that he backed him politically as well. <clears throat> After the Opry that night, I endured an occult ritual again. Occultism is oftentimes used as a trauma base for mind control. Who can comprehend that kind of a trauma? A blood ritual is absolutely horrible, and it's a perfect trauma base for mind control for the compartmentalization of memory. I witnessed Wayne Cox murder a railroad bum down at Nashville's Union Station. It was abandoned at that time and there were, there were bums around and he shot him right between the eyes and cut off both of his hands, which was Cox's MO for murder. After this blood ritual, this horrible trauma, I was program that Wayne Cox would be my first handler in MK Ultra Mind Control. As my handler, Wayne Cox would, fo would follow Senator Byrd's directions and instructions. And above all, he would be subjecting me to more trauma sufficient to satisfy the numerous compartments Senator Byrd wanted developed in my brain for mind control programming programming so that I could carry out various operations during the Reagan Bush administration. I endured numerous occult rituals after that. Wayne Cox at that time was working directly under the direction of Louisiana Senator J. Bennett Johnston and he took me to his hometown in Chatham, Louisiana. J. Bennett Johnston at that time was heavily involved in mind control operations because he was running an, a band of mercenaries out of Louisiana. At that time, this band of mercenaries were um, going in and out of, of South America. There was a lot of arms deals going on. There was, and, and, and most importantly, when the airplanes would fly these guys down to South America, they would come back full of cocaine, which was being distributed on our streets. Wayne Cox was triggering these mercenaries into operation by showing them a severed hand from another one of his victims, which re-traumatized them into um, the occult ritual that they had already endured and accessed a specific compartment of their brain. And he told them that J. Bennett Johnston wanted them to give him a hand and carry out a certain operation, he would then give the instructions and the guys would follow him through.